something shocking happened in Mecca. Let's find it out. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. What is happening around us? Riba is widely consumed in the name of interest. Nightclubs are everywhere and in those nightclubs even Muslims spend their nights in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Evils like pornography and prostitution have now become part of modern society. People are defending and even celebrating same deeds that the people of Nuth alayhi salam did and were punished for. Nearly 10% of the world's population dies from hunger while the rich are competing for the number of luxury cars. What will happen next? On Tuesday, August 22, Saudi Arabia experienced intense lightning storms hmm. and powerful easterly winds that resulted in extensive damage throughout the country. Hmm. The cities of Mecca and Jeddah, along with various other regions, bore the impact of the turbulent weather conditions. Numerous intense videos of the powerful storm circulated on social media, showcasing the incredible force of the wind. Its strength was so remarkable that it could even displace hefty plastic barriers. Mm. The gusts also posed a threat to the movement of Umrah pilgrims within the Grand Mosque of Mecca. Oh, no. In another video, a lightning bolt was seen hitting the renowned Mecca Clock Royal Tower hey. Hotel. Are these incidents normal in desert regions like Saudi Arabia? Such extreme climate changes cannot be termed normal incidents. It is true that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that changes night into day and changes the weather conditions. It is all under His perfect control and wisdom. But we as Muslims should be more alert to check the signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us to warn us that the time of the hour is not very far away now. Mm. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu got frightened for his ummah whenever strong winds blew and he would fear that it might be a sign of Allah's anger. Whenever strong wind blew, anxiety appeared on the face of the Prophet, fearing that the wind might be a sign of Allah's wrath. Those were the days when most of the minor signs had not occurred and come true. But here we are now, carefree and in a resting mode, when we see all the signs of the coming of the hour coming true in front of our very own eyes. Hmm. Wake up dear brothers and sisters, it is not too late to pay heed to the signs hmm. and warnings and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending us. Hmm. People are unable to complete their tawaf. The cleaners of the blessed mosque are blowing away like leaves. And these events are something that a believer should ponder upon. It's time to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before our time runs out. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who are always watchful of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. Oh, wow. I didn't know this actually happened recently. The one I saw on, on the internet was the, you know, the storm and the tornadoes that, that went on in Israel. It happened some days back in Israel. There was heavy rain, there was thunder, there was lightning, you know. The ton tornadoes were too much, like the whole place was just... But we seen Saudi Arabia to same incident happened there. Wow, this is... God, what's happening? It says we've got it to the end times, guys. This is the end times. We need to be careful. We need to be prayerful. We need to trust God. We need to hold on to God because 
man we don't know nobody knows what will happen in the next minute just imagine how the wind was blowing there was one particular man that was walking and that the, that um what do they call it um the wind blew the the, the, the object to him and fell him down i was like Whew. just imagine that the, 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 the place was slippery or ah thank god most people survived the you know the the storm they survived it because that was that was scary to watch and that was like i was ah, i was really feeling for them guys because i knew this happened in um Tel Avi in Israel some days back, but me hearing that it happened here at Mecca some recently is is heartbreaking. Like it's sad to see, guys. It's very sad to see. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.